All right, look, we got another voicemail. Let's go ahead and play it here. This was also a good one. We had, um, here you go. Let's do it. All right, this is Mark. I saw your TikTok about what's what the deal, Daniel Mark? Stop the Chiefs from doing a three peat. Mm. In my opinion, any of them, they are playing like shit this season. <laughs> How do you sit there, win a game against the Panthers, which are the punching bag of the NFL, and only beat them by three points? That's facts. That's wild, man. That's wild. That, that's just my take. So, yeah, I'm saying any of them. And the only reason they haven't lost every game this season is because of the rest. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. That's all. Bye. This is facts, man. Look, so so first off, Mark, man, appreciate you for calling, of course. And this is facts. I, I agree with you. I 1,000% agree with you for – a big reason the Chiefs are 11 and 1 right now is because of what the referees have been allowing them to get away with. You go all the way back in the beginning of the season. I know you mentioned the Panthers, but another NFC South team that should have beat the, the Chiefs was the Atlanta Falcons. You look at way earlier in the season when they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, no pass interference call. You look at way earlier when they played the Baltimore Ravens, they called out of bounds in literally the first week of the season. That was just the luck that the Chiefs have starting off the season. Touchdown pass on a game winning drive. Nope, out of bounds. Doesn't count. Chiefs win. Crazy. You you fast forward all the way down to present time. They play the, the, the Carolina Panthers, one of the worst teams. Actually, probably the worst team in the NFL other than the New York Giants. But this is a team who, like you said, has been a punching bag week after week for NFL teams, but yet they gave the Chiefs a, a, a battle and didn't even win because of a field goal. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like, the way the Chiefs are winning these games is is ridiculous. And anyone, any of you Chiefs fans out there who, who watch these games and you just are in denial about how the Chiefs are winning them, you, you, need, you have some problems. You need to get looked at. You need to talk to a specialist. You need to talk to someone to really help fix your mind. Because if you're genuinely watching these Chiefs games and you're seeing how they're ending, you're seeing how the Chiefs win, and, and you just really believe that they're playing good football or they're beating other teams because they're so good, oh, uh, yeah, you you have problems, bro. I'm sorry. You have problems. You you need to get something checked out. So I, I, it's it's wild. You, you look after the Panthers game. They, they, they lose or they beat the Raiders. And a bogus flag call. A bogus flag call. Another win for the Chiefs. Man, Chiefs should be, realistically, if the referees don't intervene and, and crazy type of plays don't happen where it's just like working in the Chiefs' favor, man, Chiefs should have a record of, of, of nine and six, right? Or, um, no, no, not even nine. Nope, let, let's go further. I, I would say the Chiefs would maybe even have probably an eight and four record. And, and that's me being generous. I would say maybe an eight and four record for what they've been putting out this season and how good they've actually been playing without the help of the referees. So wild, wild there, wild there. I, I just I, my thing too with the Chiefs is obviously I know they're a playoff team. They haven't been looking spectacular. I personally haven't seen the Chiefs play a game this season and been like, damn, the Chiefs. They're playing some good football. They they look good. The Chiefs, they're going to the Super Bowl because of how good they look. That's not been the case at all. Any team in the AFC can indeed give them a run for the money right now. You put the Steelers against them. You put the Ravens, I mean, who've been fairly inconsistent, maybe they have a shot. You put the Bills against them right now. The Bills have been playing remarkable. So a lot of other teams in the AFC can give them a shot, give them a run. But I really think the root of the problem for the Kansas City Chiefs is that they've been playing to the level of their competition. So whenever they're playing a bad team or a team that's playing sloppy, that's who they began to mimic. They start playing bad. They start throwing interceptions. They start getting silly flags. And then all of a sudden we get to the end of the game and the referees are deciding the game's for us in the Chiefs' favor, which nobody wants to see right now. So it, to me, it, it is crazy. But I think for a team like the Chiefs who are used to playing in February every single year for the past three, four years, regular season gets a little boring. That's why they get so sloppy. That's why they are as sloppy as they look on a week-to-week -week basis. But we know we can't ever count the Chiefs out. 
because of how good they look in the playoffs. Playoffs, this is a, a, a completely different team. All of a sudden, they're, they're locked in, no penalties. They're blowing teams out. Like, they're, they're strategic. It's, man, it, it's, it's scary. It's scary. It's nasty. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. I love to watch this type of dominance. I just wish it wasn't dominance that was decided by bogus flag calls or zebras, meaning the referees. So um, that's that's that part. But no, again, man, I appreciate you for calling in. I, I thought that was a very interesting take there. And, you know, I, I did pose a question on the social. I'm like, who could beat the Chiefs? You know, who are the who's the team to really like knock out the Chiefs in the playoffs? And that's a that's a great answer there. Anyone can. Anyone can because they've been getting lucky. They've been getting fluke. So <laughs> I, I, I a thousand percent agree with you. 